Hi, this is your teacher, Barbara Rademacher, and we're going to graph a line in slope-intercept form on my math lab. And here's how you do it. First, you recognize that this line is in slope-intercept form. Here's the y-intercept, and here's the slope. And the way we're going to graph this is to start at the y-intercept and then let the, the slope be a kind of road map. Here's how it works. Slope is a fraction, the top of which shows the vertical movement, and the bottom of which shows the horizontal movement between points. So a positive 6 means you're going to go up 6. And a positive 5 on the bottom means you're going to go to the right 5. So we start at 6 right here, the y-intercept. And from there, we go up 6 units and to the right 5 units. OK. Now the first thing I'm going to do is either click on Enlarge the Graph here or click here. Either way, this is my toolbar. And since I'm going to be graphing a straight line, it tells me that right here, graph a line. OK. Then I go to the line tool, and it tells me that, and I click. Now, I go to the grid, and I start at 0, 0 and I go up 6 units to the y-intercept. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I click. Then from there, I go up 6 units. 1, 2, uh, two. That's, this is very tricky. 3, 4, 5, 6. And then I don't click, do not click, not yet. Instead, just hold it there, because you're going to go to the right five. One, two, three, four, five. Now you click. There's your line. Check your answer. We did a splendid job. Let's do another one. This time we have a negative slope and a negative y-intercept. Remembering that the slope is a road map, I can take this negative sign and put it on top with the 7, or I can take the negative sign and put it underneath with the 6. And that will indicate movement. I cannot put a negative sign on the top and on the bottom at the same time when there's only one negative sign in front. So I'm going to mentally attach this negative sign to the top number. That leaves 6 being a positive number. All right, so this is what our strategy is going to be. I go to negative 4 on the y-axis, and I click. From there, I'm going to move down 7 and to the right 6 and click again. Here we go. I'm going to click here, start at the center, whoop, there. Start at the center. Oh, I didn't do the line. See what happens? See what happens when you don't click on a tool. You have to click on a tool first. OK. Now, go to the y-intercept, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. Now from here, we're go oh, and I click. 
From here, we're going to go down 7. So down 1, down 2, down 3, down 4, down 5, down 6, down 7. And to the right, 6, because now the 6 is positive. The 7 was negative. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I click again. And there's my line. Check answer. Fantastic! Okay, talk to you later.